Welcome to another edition of the SprintCarUnlimited.com Daily, which is free on our YouTube page. In this episode, we were going to recap the Dirt Car Nationals, but instead, we're going to head to the mailbag, got a question over email, who will have more wins in the World of Outlaw season, Carson Macedo or Sheldon Hodenshield? This is a tough one, probably uh, one of the more difficult questions that I've been uh, posed over email. And coming out of the Dirt Car Nationals, Macedo has the upper hand. He has finishes of 7th, 1st, 5th, and 6th. The win came against the All-Star Circuit of Champions. He was plus 16 passing cars uh, over the weekend. He didn't drop at all in the running order. So uh, I was really impressed with, with how Macedo performed in, his, in the first four races with uh, Jason Johnson Racing. Sheldon Hodgshield was the other end of the spectrum. Obviously, high expectations coming into the Dirt Car Nationals because a year ago, he had seven wins, was a model of consistency, finished fourth in the point standings to Macedo's fifth. Uh, but he landed finishes of eighth, tenth, fifteenth, and twelfth. A couple of those races he didn't finish, uh, had a couple crashes, went on the backstretch, uh, got upside down in, the, I believe, the last show on Sunday, was able to make some repairs in a couple cases. He also shredded a tire, the 1A main. was able to get back out and, and come up through a little bit. But still, uh, some concern coming out of Volusia. This is, again, last year Sheldon had the advantage. Uh, I'm not really ready to panic on him yet, but Macedo has a couple things working in his favor. I think, first off, I like the off-season surgery on his septum. Helps breathing in the car. I know some people may look at that as no big deal, but uh, he's already told me it's made a, a world of difference inside the cockpit. Also, he is going to be timing better on a nightly basis, I think, with Philip Dietz, who uh, traditionally has the 41 fast at the beginning of the night and also pretty fast at the end of the night as evidenced by David Gravel's performance last year. So I think Carson Macedo, uh being in the gym in the off season, getting the surgery, going to a team that probably times better than the KLR team did last year are definite advantages that are going to put, make him more, even more formidable in 2021. Sheldon, look, the, the start of the, the season wasn't what he wanted, but again, Volusia's feast or famine for Sheldon. He's won there before. He's had bad finishes there before. Look, it's not like he had four finishes in the 20s or didn't make the A-main against the All-Stars with a lot of outlaw guys in the pit area. I think it's way too early or too knee-jerk to assume that Sheldon's going to have a bad year. I think there's this team's going to be able to maintain speed, especially in certain – areas of the schedule, and at certain tracks where he's just lights out. Peevely comes to mind. Some other places like Kokomo. Uh, California is really good, which the whether who has the most wins between Macedo and uh, Sheldon could be determined on the West Coast where both drivers are really pretty good. So, uh, look, I think these both these guys are going to be battling from that four to seven range in the world of outlaw points. I'm to answer the question. I'm going to give Sheldon six wins this year, and I'm going to give Carson Macedo five. I think Sheldon maybe gets just a a small leg up in the points. They're going to be really close. Uh, I think the the big three of Sweet Shots and Shuhart are going to battle for the title. I think Gravel's right there next and fourth, and then fifth through seventh, Reitzel, Sheldon, Macedo are going to be battling gravel for fourth. And who knows, uh, I could change that opinion next week with the, the way that top seven is and with the depth the World of Outlaws has this season. That, that's going to wrap up this edition of the SprintCarUnlimited.com Daily, which is free on our YouTube page. Check us out and subscribe on YouTube. Also, for exclusive content, hop over to SprintCarUnlimited.com, where we'll have daily coverage throughout the season from the world of sprint car racing. Stay tuned.